Let's discuss further. So here we will be trying to find out the square roots of the number between 1 to 100. So here is an important technique and with the help of this technique you can find the square root of any number between 1 to 100. So before finding the numbers I will just write a small table. So here I will list out the numbers from 1 to 10 and I will write what is the value of squares of those numbers and what is the last digit of that number. So for 1, 1 square is 1. For 2, 2 square is 4 and last digit is also 4. 3 square is 9 and last digit is also 9. 4 square is 16 and last digit is 6. 5 square is 25 and last digit is 5. 6 square is 36 and last digit is 6. 7 square is 49 and last digit is 9. 8 square is 64 and last digit is 4. 9 square is 81 and last digit is 1. 10 square is 100 and your last digit is 0. So with the help of this thing, we can find the square root of any number between 1 to 100. Now let us take an example. Maybe I'll take the number 93. So what is the value of 93 into 93? It is 8649. Now if you have a question like if you want to find the square root of 8649, how can you find it easily? So whenever you are trying to find a square root, you have to draw a line after two digits from your left hand side. So if you draw a line, you can divide your total number 8649 into two parts. So it will be 86 as your first part and 49 as your second part. Now coming to the first part, 86. Now 86 lies in between the square root of which number? So this thing you have to check. So if you check it in the table, can I say my 86 is lying in between 81 and 100? So it is nothing but 86 is lying between 9 square and 10 square. So based on this logic, I can confirm that my first number is nothing but 9. Now coming to the second part. Since second part is 49 and last digit is 9, so if you want to get 9 as your last digit, what are the possibilities you have? If you want to get 9 as your last digit, either it can be 3 square or it can be 7 square. So your possible answer can be either 93 or 97. But you are not sure whether 93 is your answer or 97 is your answer. So for that reason, take a number between 93 and 97. So I will take it as 95. So 95 square, what is the value of 95 square? Any number ending with 5, you can do it directly. So 5 square, 25 will be the last number. 9 multiplied by immediate next number, that is 10. So 90, 25. So this is the in-between value. Now what was given in the question that was 8649 which is less than 9025. So your answer will be 93. So explaining it, it is like it's a tougher one but when you are doing the process, it is actually very easy. So let's use the same technique on another question. So what is the value of, let's take the number 56. So 56 into 56. It is 3136. So let's divide and draw a line after two digits. So 31 is your first part and 36 is your second part. Now, so 31 lies in between squares of which two numbers? So 31 lies between 5 square and 6 square. So my first value I got it as 5. Now 36. Based on my last digit, my value can be either 4 or 6. So since there are two possibilities, it can be either 54 or 56. So for that reason, I will take an in-between number, 55 whole square. So 55 whole square is nothing but multiplied with its immediate number, that is 6. So 5 into 6, it is 30. So 30, 25. So when you look at the question, 3136, it is greater than 3025. So your answer will be 56. So coming to the next question. What is the square root of 6084? So in the similar way, divide it into two parts, 60 and 84. 60 lies in between the squares of 7 square and 8 square. So your first digit is 7. It is confirmed and your next part is 84. 
and 84 4 is the last digit so when 4 is the last digit the possibility is 2 it can be either 2 or 8 your answer is either 72 or 78 so take the in between number 75 75 whole square 75 square is nothing but 7 multiplied by immediate next number which is 8 so 7 is a 56 so 56 25 so if you look at the question 6084 is greater than 5625 so your answer will be something greater than 75 square so it is nothing but 78 is your answer similarly let's do the next question so what is the square root of 1521 so draw a line after first two digit so it will be 15 and 21 now 15 lies in between the square root of 3 square and 4 square so the first value will be 3 and for 21 1 is the unit digit so 1 has to be unit place your value can be either 1 or 9. So here your possible answers can be either 31 or 39. So take a number in between. So in 31 and 39 it is 35 whole square. So 35 whole square comes to how much? 3 multiplied with the immediate next number that is 4. So it becomes 12, 25. Now look at the question. Question is 15, 21 which is greater than 12, 25. Since it is greater so your answer will be 39. 